In this short video, I'll show you how to connect your Beats Studio Buds or Studio Buds Plus to your Mac computer. It could be a MacBook, iMac, Mac Pro, Mac Mini, any sort of Macs. Okay, so the first step is we need to make sure that they are in pairing mode and open and put the earbuds inside of the case, open the lid, and if this small light over here is flashing white, it means that they are in pairing mode. You're good to go to the second step I'll show you. If you do not see this light flashing, like in my case, you just need to press this button on the inside of the case during five seconds. Keep it pressed until this light is flashing. Okay, it's flashing, I can release that button. They are now in pairing mode. Put these aside and don't close the lid. And on your Mac, on the top right corner, you're gonna notice there is this icon, you see? Two ovals, one on top of each other here. So go ahead and tap the, this icon. Then you'll have this menu appearing. Choose Bluetooth, click on it. You'll have a few options. Click on Bluetooth preference. Another page will open. And then you need to go down in this list and you should see Beats Studio Buds. Press connect, wait a few seconds, and this will be added to your list. You can enable or uh, disable Siri. Here I'll enable it. If we go up, they'll be right here in this list and you also have an option button that you can click to have uh, a few settings that you can change as well. Now let me show you how to use these Beats Studio Buds. It may be hard to notice, but if we take the earbud, each of them is marked left and right over here. So this is on the back, this is the ear tip, and right over here, I know it's hard to see, but you're gonna see an R for right and an L for left. This one is R, so I'll put it in my right ear. This other one, if I turn it, it's for the left ear, because there is an L. Therefore, let me show you. I simply need, first of all, to put it directly like this, no matter how, in which position it is. And then what you need to do from this position is to turn the earbud counterclockwise like this until it locks in place. This way, even if I'm talking, eating, or even shaking my head, well, this will never fall. So in the box, once you purchase them, you're gonna notice they came with this small USB cable. It's very small, I wish it was bigger, but the biggest problem is not this, it's the fact that it does not come with a charger. So how do you charge them? Well, first thing that you need to know is that you cannot wireless charge the case. So it's not like the AirPods Pro where you can simply put it in a wireless charging mat and they charge overnight. Here you absolutely need to use the USB type C port that is located under the case. And to charge them, first of all, make sure that they are inserted here and that they are properly inserted. If not, it won't work. All right, close the lid. And now you have multiple choices. You can use the cable that they came with, that is a USB type C to USB type C. In this case, you need a USB type C charger like the one I'm having right here. And by the way, I'll put Amazon links in the description if you want to get one of these or a longer cable like the one I'll show you in just a few seconds. Connect this to this. And finally, plug it into a power source. You'll notice that there's a small light over here that will be red, simply telling you that it's now charging. Obviously, you can also use a much longer USB Type-C cable, especially if you want to charge them and you're at a desk and obviously the plug will be on the wall down below and you're up here. Well, this is the cable that came with my MacBook. As you see, it's very long. And you can obviously use one of these. Just make sure that is USB type C to USB type C. If we talk about charging time on these, it's very cool because with only five minutes of charging, let's say they were completely dead, 
you can get up to an hour of playback time. This is if you do not use the, the noise cancelling feature. So if you do not use that, you're good to go for an hour with only five minutes of charging. If you want to fully charge your Beats Studio Buds, then you'll be able to have up to nine hours of battery life on one earbud. And if you use the case to charge them, you'll be able to add and to get up to 36 hours. This is what Beats is saying. And obviously you'll get these numbers if you do not speak on the phone, if you don't use noise canceling or transparency mode. If you use those features, you'll obviously get less hours of usage. When using them, if you close the case and the light here is turning to red, it simply means that the case battery is less than 40%. So you need to charge the case. So imagine I'm wearing this in my ear. If you're receiving a phone call and you want to answer, you just have to press one normally on the button that is on the side of your earbud located where the logo is. Like this. This way you enter the call. If while this call is outgoing, you have a second call and you want to take it, again, you just have to click once to take the second call. The first call will be put in on hold when you do this. If somebody is calling you and you want to reject the call, you just have to press and hold about two seconds and you're going to hear in your earbud the call being rejected and then you can lift your finger from the button. If somebody is calling you and you're answered and you're talked to this person and you want to switch between these earbuds and your iPhone, so you uh, take the call on your iPhone instead, you can press twice on this button while the call is outgoing to switch between the earphones and send the call to your iPhone instead. Now, how to control your music using these Beats Studio Buds? Well, very easy. First of all, to play or to pause any audio that is on your phone, computer or whatever, you just have to press once this Beat logo like this and you're going to feel a small click. This is the button clicking and the song will play. To pause, press on it again. If you want to skip to the next track, you just have to double click this button quickly like this, it will go to the second track. And you can do this multiple times until you select the track you actually want to listen to. If you want to listen to the previous track, you just have to press three times quickly instead, like that, one, two, three, and you go back to the previous track. Now, how do you change the actual volume on this? Because they don't have any volume buttons, right? Well, let me show you. There's actually four different ways on how you can do this. And some of these modes are not enabled when you get them out of the box. You need to enable it on the phone. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First way to adjust the volume is to simply wear them. And once you wear them, you can say, Hey Siri, turn down the volume or Hey Siri, drag up the volume. And this way you'll be able to adjust the volume without you having to take your phone out of your pocket or touch anything. You can, if you have an Apple watch, you can also use the crown of your device to adjust the volume when you're wearing these Beats Studio Buds. Pretty cool. There's also the classic way on how to switch the volume, which is simply using your phone buttons up and down, or if you drag uh, from your iPhone, from the top right corner, you're going to see an icon, which are your Beat Studio Buds here. And this way you can drag an up and down the slider. You can also switch the volume directly on them without a phone, without your voice, without an Apple Watch. How to do this? Very easy. Wear them. Let me put this in my ear. And now what you need to do, well, we don't need a case, is to take your phone that they are connected to open the settings. Then over here, you should see Beats Studio Buds on top. If you do not see it, go on Bluetooth, press your Beats Studio Buds icon on the right side here. It's the same thing and you'll get at the same spot. 
and then once you're here go down click on press and hold and then you need to enable volume control over here like that and what does it mean is simply when you press and hold either the left or the right earbud you can adjust the volume up and down so if you press so if you keep press the left earbud the volume went down you see let me press the right side and the volume is going up you just need to keep press the button on the side of your beat studio bud and it will act like a volume button this way again you won't have to use your phone or your voice to adjust the volume so thanks for watching i hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you in the next video